Do I need to be personally interested and involved? Yes, you do. You need not only to be aware and interested, but to know at least the basic terms of investment so you can talk sensibly with your advisor and or broker. But at the same time, you don't need to feel that you have to know everything. That's not necessary at all. To help you out uh, at uh, www.freeinvestinglessons.com, on the left-hand side, I provide a link for a free glossary of investment terms. Um, and they're broken down into categories, ones you have to know, ones that would be nice, and ones that you could know if you got some extra time to look over them. Grab it, start learning. Don't let the concept of starting your own stock, por stock portfolio frighten you. Here are six simple pointers that will help you avoid making some possibly costly errors. Tip number one, know your risk tolerance. Is it low or is it high? Number two, if your risk tolerance is fairly low and you won't be needing your money in the near future, Invest in shares that will be a good long-term investment. If medium or high, go to www.stockinvestingprofits.com and get the free seven-part kit and start on parts five and six. Tip number three, factor in your age group. Why? Because stock markets tend to perform best over a longer period of time. That is with a long-term hold strategy. That's what we're teaching you. So ask yourself, when do you want the capital back that you have invested? And how long do you think you would be comfortable waiting for that stock to mature and grow? Tip number four. Learn everything you can about investing to make yourself comfortable with any and all investments, not just stocks. I'm talking about mutual funds, which are fantastic, by the way and still stocks uh, for the most part, IRAs, CDs, money markets, options, things like that. Many of these you can just go to your regular bank and get, like money markets, IRAs, CDs, and whatnot. If you're interested in any of these others, just contact your full-service stock broker. Also read financial statements and subscribe to magazines. There's plenty of investing magazines, and if you feel like it, Go to stockinvestingprofits.com and get the free kit. Tip number five. I hate to say this, but I have to. And most don't tell you this. But you need to be prepared to lose all or part of your investment funds. Never ever use money for investments that you would normally be earmarked for your mortgage, food, or other family mood. Uh, uh, family needs. Tip number six, never put yourself in a position with stock investing where you cannot sleep at night. If that's the case, as soon as you wake up in the morning or roll out of bed in the morning because you didn't, you didn't sleep, contact your stockbroker, schedule an appointment, and fix it. Go to stockinvestingprofits.com get a free seven-part stock investing kit for beginners shipped out to you.